Hello Joyful Tribe and welcome back to my channel. Trust everyone is doing well. Today we are making banga soup, a very delicious one. Keep watching. So for this I'm using this banga concentrate. I'm going to dissolve it with some hot water. If you're using the fresh banga nut, go ahead, wash and cook that till it is tender and then extract the juice. I'm using this one because this is what I can find and I like to dissolve it this way so that all the particles can settle at the bottom. My protein of choice for this soup is some goat meat, some snails, you know I love my snails, it is optional, skip it if you don't like it and of course I have cleaned this thoroughly with some lemons. Now add the meat into a pot, add the snails as well and then go in with your seasoning. Add some onion and pepper. Now we're going to stir this, cover and let this steam for about 15 minutes before we add water. Fifteen minutes later, I'm going to stir on this real quick. At this point, the seasoning have penetrated into the meat. If you're patient enough, you can let that liquid, you know, dry back into the protein. So at this time, I'm going to remove this snail. It's still tough, but I'm going to reintroduce it early enough. I don't just want it to overcook. Now add more water. Continue to cook the goat meat for another 10-15 minutes. The spices I'm using for this soup today is irujeje, this tiny one, some ehuru, that's calabash nutmeg, onion, and some hot yellow pepper. Blend all of these till smooth and set it aside. The meat is still cooking, so let's make good use of that time. Add your fish into a bowl, add salt and hot water, and let it soak for about 5 minutes. Five minutes later, go in with some cold water. At this point, it has softened up. I'm going to now debone the fish, scrub it with the abrasive part of your sponge if you have to. Just make sure you clean it thoroughly. You don't want sand in your fish. Today's special hug is for Boma, watching from Nigeria. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next video. Also, if this is your first time here, Thank you so much for clicking to watch. Please subscribe, it is free. And don't forget to click the like button. To my returning subscribers, I love you all so much. Thank you for always coming back to watch. All right, our fish is clean now and it's been 15 minutes. This has been cooking for a total of 30 minutes. The goat meat is still a bit tough. So I'm going to now go in with our settled banga juice. You can see that black thing at the bottom. Don't add that. So remember I said I was going to introduce this snail early enough, so I'm going to add it now and then let this come to a boil. This was 7 minutes later. Look at that. Beautiful. So now I'm going to add a blended pepper and spices. Don't worry, I'll list everything I'm using in the description box. Next, add some crayfish. In fact, at this point, I like to add everything I'm using for this soup. If you want to add fresh catfish, add it now. So I'm going to add the crayfish, add our cleaned um, dry fish, remember the one we cleaned earlier, add that. I'm going to add some ogilisi. Yes, you can skip it or just add dawa dawa. Let me tell you, I was just playing around with flavors and this soup came out delicious. It turned out really well. So I'm going to add some ogilisi to this. Give everything a good mix and let it simmer on medium low heat. Also, you want to taste at this point. Once you give everything a good mix, taste and adjust with seasoning or salt if necessary. I went in with some salt. Still watching then this is a good time to please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscription is free they don't charge you for it while at it hit the notification bell so you'll be among the first to know anytime i upload a new video thank you all right so after another 15 minutes this has been simmering on medium low heat for 15 minutes i'm going to give this a gentle mix and oh can you perceive the aroma hmm? It was nose blinding. So yummy. Now, finally, I'm going to go in with some washed bitter leaf. Like I said, I was just, you know, freestyling and everything was making sense. 
this soup tasted so delicious i hope you can try it enjoy it and let me know what you think send me your pictures on instagram at joyfulcook underscore once you try this out thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next one meanwhile what swallow will you pair this with hmm? yeah share your thoughts with me in the comments thank you for watching bye bye